Doodle Bud here. Today we're checking out this Hover Pen 2.0 sent to me by Novium. This is their Interstellar Edition. You might be asking, Doodle Bud, what's a Hover Pen? Let me show you. So check this out. We'll pop off the box here. I put it back in the box. How do I take it out? There we go. We slide it out. Okay. Pop this off. And here it is, this like from above, you know, Starship uh, Enterprise, Star Trek Next Generation type of feel. I watched that a ton when I was growing up. Um, but here you go. So this is the base. This is the pen. And you put it in like this and it floats and you can spin it. If you're wondering how this thing works and how it does that, obviously we got some magnets going on. There's magnets here within the pen body and then within this base and here as well. So you put the pen there, it makes it uh, hover, essentially float around. Good name idea we got going on. It also can take the cap off the pen. You gotta get the technique just right. I've been playing with this. There we go. You do it the right way. You can take the cap off the pen. You do your writing. You put it back on, chuck it in the holder, away you go. So it's a little technique thing that you got to get the hang of. Um, you know, a bit of a novelty thing, but it's got some cool factor to it. And you've sort of seen what you need to see, but I, I wanted to see more. And I thought, how can we see these magnets in action? And well, that's what this is for. Did a bit of an order and got some fine pi powdered... Uh, iron filings so essentially that is going to let us be able to see the magnets in action right we're going to have to have a little bit of fun here and i'm going to be covering this whole thing with iron filings the base and the pen to see if we can see the magnets in action you can feel them but it's tough on a video to tell you how something feels so let's show you how it looks put these to the side for a little bit. I'll just quickly go through the pen before we make a giant mess here. Um, but again, it comes in this box. You got uh, a refill that's in here as well. Get, there'll be a link down there in the description. You can use that. So just, this takes a, a Schmidt refill here. There's a, we got a medium on there as well. There's a little information here about the hover pen, how it works, what you do, showing you, you can uh, fidget spin the thing as well. Uh, go for the center on there. I'll show you that right now. So you want to aim for the center when you put it in with a little, you know, don't just baby it in, just pop it in there. You're good. If you go to the sides, oh, there's magnets here. So it's going to stick there, right? So it just tells you sort of how to, how to use it. Um, but yeah, it gives you all the information on that. And then also how to swap out the refill if it runs low. So this is where this little uh, ring comes in. Very simple. Pop off the cap. You can chuck it. Oh, I missed you can chuck it <laughs> and have it stay there. And then you just use this, grab it, and then uh, again on camera, I'm trying to work around a microphone and a camera with a tripod, there we go. You grab it and you pull it out. And then that's how you can swap out the refill. Don't uh, don't lose this piece. That, that was one little recommendation I thought of is um, maybe in the base on the underside, there was a spot that this ring sort of stays in. Um, that way you don't lose it, because this you could lose this, and then uh, yeah, you're, it's, it's gonna be pretty tricky to get that refill out. So that'd be the one little suggestion I would make, is have this self-contained somewhere into there, underneath out of the way, so you don't lose it. Anyways, let me write with it really quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll bust these out and start having some fun. So let's treat the review as if you're using it like a desk pen. So here I am, I gotta write something in a notebook. I pop it off and you know, you can do the swipe, but again, you gotta watch out. There's a very strong magnet here. Um, so yeah, just getting that technique down or you pop it off and put the cap on there. And then you, uh, maybe you're taking notes on a phone call or you gotta sign off a document and your name is Peter Jones. And boom, that's your signature thing. Boom, you come in, put the pen back, mission accomplished. It writes, uh, you know, like a regular ballpoint should. There's no special characteristics of it, but it is nice and smooth. Uh, the pen flows just, you know, quite well. It's not scratchy or anything like that. It lays down lots of ink. You can doodle with it, all that sort of stuff. I don't really even know how to do a writing sample with a ballpoint because pretty much all I use are fountain pens. Um, but yeah, it's smooth, it's a great writer, great for printing, all that sort of stuff that a regular ballpoint pen will do. And, you know, they don't really have any issues with ballpoints, they just work. You don't have to worry about uh, tines getting bent or being out of alignment. They're just, 
you know, there, there sort of is a reason we move beyond the fountain pens. They are fantastic to write with. The writing experience on a fountain pen is far superior. But uh, yeah, these just, I mean, the ballpoint, there's nothing to them. There's nothing to go wrong. They don't really fail. All they do is run out of ink. That's about it. But, uh, you know, you do your stuff, grab your signature, Mr. Doodlebud. Great. You sign the thing, put it back in. There you go. Or great. If you're on the phone, you got to take notes. And the thing with this, like, you can have a the classic cup of pens and there's just pens everywhere. This is going to be on your desk and it's not going to, you're not going to lose it. It's going to stand out. So if, if you know someone who's maybe like constantly losing pens or whatever, you're not going to lose this one. It's kind of cool and you can be on the phone or whatever it is you're doing and you're spinning it kind of playing with it, messing around. Um, so it's got a cool quality to it. So yeah, this would be good for someone who likes this gadget, gadget kind of stuff neat things uh there's no batteries which is always nice there's nothing special like that you're just using magnets and you know where your pen's going to be all the time and uh, yeah works just great so let's bust these out now i'm dying to do this and seeing what we can see i got the pen i just said vert the furk how does it work and uh i was looking at this and that's where i instantly got this idea so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a few things i'm going to get some uh little saran wrap here just to cover a few things i'll get a piece of paper and i think what i'll do first is let's look at what the magnets look like in this base so for that i'll get a piece of paper okay so let's just do that pop that over top there's there's a few magnets in there but this is what's cool you can just put this on top we'll just give it a little gentle sprinkle oh we can start to find the magnets pretty darn quick here looks like there's four of them okay let's give it let's tidy this up a little bit so this is what's neat you can see where iron filings are getting attracted sort of halfway in between we'll give things a little tap here to tidy it up all right that looks good let's get you up close and uh yeah so that's how it's interacting try a little more sprinkling here Ooh. Mm -hmm. what's really interesting is you can see the height that these uh iron filings go up to so i'm not sh and it looks like they start to sort of curve in so i think they're a circular magnet and i'm trying to determine do these circular discs or are they magnets that have a hole in the center? To learn a little more, I separated the filings and the paper from the magnets, re-sprinkled a little differently this time, and so you can see you get these crosshairs that go through here as well. So that's really interesting. If I tap it, they will all fall to the stronger area, but this, this did this crisscross pattern naturally on its own as well. So you start to sort of visualize these magnetic field lines that are here at play, but we also interact with this pen. And so if I just put the pen in, the uh, iron filings will totally coat this thing. So that's what the old saran wrap is for. We've got to wrap it up before we stick it in. We're wearing our protection now here and uh, let's just, let's just dunk it. Let's just take that approach. Go whole hog here. We're picking up some stuff. Let's just give a little tap there. Ooh, that's a big old wow. <laughs> That's going to be too messy. Let's try to take a little more off. Interesting. So we can see the uh, the filings. There's a magnet at the front here, but then we got a big old magnet. Uh, you know, obviously right there on the pen. So I might actually wrap up the whole base in a saran wrap because I want to see the field lines underneath. And if we can, if I can put the pen in, I want to see what happens to these as I put it in and move it around. And uh, let's just start sprinkling and see. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Okay, got it cleaned up a little bit, best I can. This is going to be a messy review. Yeah, I think I got too much weight on the pen now. So you can start to see the alignment of these magnets and the location of the poles all sort of have to line up with each other. Let me get you up close and you can start to see what's going to happen with these. Yeah, the pen will be attracted if I get it in one spot, but then now it's repelling. So you can see they are attracting. You can see those magnetic field lines. These two want to touch here, but if I move the pen forward, we were getting to a different spot. It just pops the pen right off. And so now if we watch the iron filings and I'm getting a big shadow on here, we could start to see, so the, the poles here of the magnets, the field lines are repelling each other. So that's where it's gonna go in the center. 
and it bounces back up. Well, I'm holding it now, but if you put the pen in the center, draw it down, it's going to repel each other. So yeah, the exact location height wise of these magnets and the magnet inside the pen and where it's situated and the thickness of it to align with the magnetic field lines is actually quite, uh, quite critical. If it's too low, it's not going to work. If it sits too high, it's not going to work. You got to get all those magnetic field lines lined up just right. And then you get this cool effect, but it is fun to see. You can see the iron filings where here we are attracting. We push the pen forward. That's in a different part of the magnetic field. And you can, you can feel it, but the iron filings also help you in order to see it. If I could sprinkle at the same time I was doing this, it would be a really, really cool picture. Gonna put these away now. I'll leave a link on where I got them. It was on Amazon. They just took forever to arrive. Uh, but yeah, it cleaned up not too bad. Turned out to, it was quite the mess to do. But as I was going through the part, of course, I'm thinking about how it's made. As I'm looking at it, well, we still got some filings kicking around here. But um, even just the sound, and just the look of the part, I this to me would be a perfect part to make through a zinc die cast. I, I bet it's made that way. We looks like we got two pieces. Um, you'll have detents to take your magnets and this upper ring will go on top, most likely epoxied. I peeled this here back on the bottom just to see if there was a through hole to accept the screw. I didn't think it would, but I bet that's what this is made out of. And it really does give that Starship Enterprise next generation look there. Um, even in the packaging, right? Like this would be the front. That's the tail kind of thing like that. They must be fans when uh, I was a big fan as well growing up. So really cool overall, you know, aluminum anodized body. Let me actually, let me check the instrument. Let me check that document. Maybe it says something. And as I've been telling my daughter, it's very important to know how to read. And here we, here we go here. So it says right here, the pedestal is the zinc alloy. Um, and there's aluminum. Oh, there's some brass in here too. That's for, for the weight because it's got some nice weight to it. I'll flash that up on the screen. I can't remember it, but uh, I'll put that on the screen. So what are my final thoughts on this Novium Hover Pen 2.0 Interstellar Edition? Well, as you can see, it's tons of fun to play with. It's really unique and novel. Comes with everything you need. It has a spare refill, has the tool. Like I said, it would be cool if uh, they made it captive. Well, you could just do that, I guess. But um, especially on the underside or just whatever they thought about that so you don't lose this because it is a pain. You could use pliers, but uh, you could risk damaging something. The design is neat. Uh, having a desk pen... I thought about this, getting a, a fountain pen, an old school one to have a, as a desk pen. I use this at my office for about a week and it worked out well. It's not completely without flaw. Like uh, I probably won't put it on camera. Oh, there we go. First try. Um, I got the technique down pretty good to be able to have the base, take the cap off, put it back on. Oh, now I'm missing it here. Um, and then you just chuck it on there. So I was playing with that, but also I would just use my other hand, pop off the cap do my thing and, and use it like a regular desk pen it uh I had people asking me about it and you're not going to lose it so if you're someone who's always you can't find a pen you're going to have a spot to put it now and you'll notice if you're missing it so yeah it's a good function for that good little gift father's day mother's day type thing or someone who's into gadgets and neat cool things you don't know what to get them um check out noviumdesign.com they got all the details there's other versions there's the 1.0 2.0 3.0 i think the 3.0 is a fountain pen so you can check out those details and there must be a review somewhere around on that maybe a couple of them as well and they even have this one available in like meteorite and all that stuff too so yeah it's not without its quirks as i showed you if you do it wrong the pen can get stuck and then you're kind of prying it off because they are quite strong magnets but once you get the hang of it it works quite well and again build quality is is top notch there's there's no no issues i found out with the build quality whatsoever and even the detail in the packaging as i showed you i think is pretty neat so check the uh description there i'll have a link and some details thanks again to novium for uh, sending me this pen to review and play with hope you didn't mind i covered this thing in iron filings but if you like this type of fun stuff you know, hit subscribe. I And let me show you a little sneak peek. I got some new gear for my next video coming up. Here's a quick sneak peek at this that came in. You're like, what is this? This is a power supply. So now I can combine this couple of my favorite things. Titanium. We got a titanium pen down there. Don't have to use the blowtorch anymore. We're going to anodize it with my new power supply. This goes up to 160 volts and the instructions are all in Chinese. So good luck there. And then we're going to throw it into the rotary 
and start hitting it with a laser and playing with that. So uh, again, keep your eyes peeled, hit the subscribe so you can see when that video comes up and we'll catch you next time.